All right, we are here with Deborah Flatman, uh, the CEO of the Maryland Food Bank, and here to talk a little bit about hunger uh, today in the Maryland Maryland area. Um, so first, I wanted to find out how long has the Maryland Food Bank actually been around? I think we're in our 32nd year. Wow. We're one of the older food banks in the country. Uh, we serve every county in the state of Maryland, except for Prince George's and Montgomery. Mm -hmm. Those two are handled by Capital Area Food Bank. Yep. Uh, recent data tells us that we've got 466,000 food insecure people wow. in our service area. And uh, that data also tells us that we are 79 million meals short of meeting the need. That's, that's incredible. On top of what we're doing, every single anti-hunger program that's in the state, on top of all of that, we're short 79 million meals. That's, that's a huge need. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, obviously the economy is not in the best shape right now. How much has that the need grown in just the past few years here? You know, we keep hearing anecdotally, mm -hmm. you know, that um, agencies are seeing two and three times the number of people, wow. you know, that they had served in the past. And we've just seen a, a steady increase. And the big deal now is that what we realize is that the people that we're, we're serving, mm -hmm. 466,000, are not all people who are in poverty. That a lot of them are people who actually earn double the poverty level, so they're, they're not eligible for any federal assistance at all. And that's just the sign of our times, right? That right. people people who had jobs and lost them. They're working harder and they're still Exactly. To, to that's exactly right. Have you seen an increase or decrease in the amount of fresh produce or other food goods, you know, in more recent years? Or is it kind of what's the mix of what you guys are receiving? That's a great question. Um, you know, back in the early days of food banking, food banking kind of got a bad rap mm -hmm. for moving stuff that wasn't necessarily so nutritiously great. Right. That's not the case anymore. Food banks are very, very um, focused on making sure that we've got a good variety, that there's plenty of nutritious food that people can choose from. And so our produce, for instance, this growing season, we're expecting at least 2 million pounds of fresh produce. That is way up from even just three years ago. Yeah, and it's mainly because of the relationships that we've been building with local growers so that they can get involved in the cause and, um, and really improve that product mix for the people that we're serving. Oh, I, I know that it, it saves us something like, I know it's 20,000, over 20,000 hours. Really? Yeah. That's, that's Bodies, I can't quite remember how many it is, but yeah, 20,000 hours. And um, So volunteers are really a huge part of the operation. Oh, absolutely. What, what types of things, you know, people are interested in volunteering at the food bank, like what, what types of things can they expect? Right. Well, they can work in the kitchen, mm -hmm. which is really great. You know, we we package this food, we cry a it, you know, and then it gets blast frozen. So we always need people to help us with that. We're always sorting salvage product, you know, which is the, the uh, compromised product that we receive from retailers. Mm -hmm. um, that All of those products have to be inspected, sorted into 27 different categories, palletized, put into inventory. So we need people on that conveyor belt out in the warehouse, uh, really, almost every single day. Are, are you at a need for volunteers? Have you seen Always. That? Always. Mm -hmm. volunteers. Yeah, always. And you know, the volunteer relationship mm -hmm. is where we, in many cases, first engage with very long-term friends, you know, who turn into great donors and great ambassadors for the food bank. And, you know, we're trying to build a movement to end hunger in Maryland. And that's how we're going to do it, is by having that, that, that touch, you know, that face-to-face mm -hmm. Um, with people, educating them to the issue of hunger, and then enlisting them and, and helping us take care of the problem. Uh, what What are your thoughts on new hunger? Well, you know what? I think that um, I, I'm a musician. I actually have a degree in music, so my whole background is very creatively based. Mm -hmm. I like to think that I bring creativity to my work, and I love it when I see creativity happening in other ways. You know, this is a very uh, creative approach to taking care of a very serious social problem. I love the partnerships that are involved. I think that, um, I think it's, it's, it's a doable way for a lot of different people to get engaged in this thing called the fight against hunger and um, bottom line, it brings food in the door. Yeah. That's what matters. Absolutely. Yeah.